Checking in here at the Detroit Championship with team number 5987, Galaxia, memory of David Zohar. And I'm here with Benny, David, and Ito. We're going to find out more about the robot here on Behind the Bumpers. Now, cool machine you guys have here. We're going to start out talking about the intake, how it functions, and how it's been working for you. And I heard you changed it up a little bit since the Israel District Championship. So why don't you tell us more about this, Ito? Uh, our rest of the intake is... Uh Part of the system, we have both the system of the hatch intake and the cargo intake on it. Uh, our hatch intake grabs hatches like this, open it up, uh, and it can sorry, toss it out. Uh, our, we swapped all the wheels on the cargo intake to be um, cannons except for this compliant, the compliant wheel, so it can uh, center it perfectly. Wrist, uh, all of our gear boxes are done in-house, uh, so our wrist is uh, actually designed to be low stall voltage so the uh, uh, red lines won't burn. Uh, we have the mechanical stoppers that can stop the intake from uh, burning so the motor won't be stalling for no reason. Uh, we can take it down a bit and we can fold it up to rest on the Part of the intake is designed to uh, be able to also shoot backwards with enough force to go through the elevator. Um, and that's about it. So moving on here, uh, speaking about, we were showing kind of a little bit of the elevator, but this is a very beefy elevator, so I'd like to talk about that a little bit. Uh, so Benny, why don't you let us know what's going on with this contraption? Yeah. So we designed this elevator as wide as we can so that we can shoot the cargo backwards through it. It's powered by two 775 Pro motors at the bottom with a custom gearbox reduction made in-house. Uh, it's designed for 3.6 volt stall voltage. That way we can keep up the elevator more or less indefinitely without burning any motors, at least, at least for as long as we need it for the match. Uh, on top of that, another thing with the elevator this year is uh, an iteration over our last year's elevator. We, th we thought that instead of making a chain, which was very heavy, we decided to make it powered with strings, which has proven to be fairly reliable so far. We've also switched from last year from doing cascade to continuous. All right, let's wrap up here. David, what do you want to talk about on your robot here? Okay, so this year vision alignment is a pretty important uh, Thing because hatch panels have a very low tolerance in which you can place them. So this year we use a RealSense camera uh, to align to all vision targets in the field. We also created and trained a uh, neural network for hatch panels, which we use to detect them on the cargo ship so we don't place uh, panels where we already have them. A phenomenal stream. Really cool to check out teams from all over the world here at the Detroit Championship. Guys, thanks for your time. Good luck here at the rest of the competition. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.